Medici, Matteo, uh, says, we used to discuss this a lot at SFA. I'd love your opinion on how Catholics should discern watching R-rated movies. Are, are all R-rated movies bad, or is it only if it leads you to sin or if it desensitizes you? Yeah. Um, so not all R-rated movies are, um, are grave matter, right? Uh, or, or even necessarily sinful to watch. Um, because there are certain times in which uh, art, uh, like good art, demands uh, certain things to be depicted um, that it would really only be appropriate for an adult to see, um, and therefore it's R-rated. Uh, and so... Um, like I'm trying to think through, like, I think Saving Private Ryan, I don't remember all of the scenes there, but, you know, that, it, that was, that was meant to be a very powerful movie that did kind of depict the reality of war and of death and of suffering. Um, and some of those scenes were kind of gory. I don't remember if there were any, um, like, uh, nudity sexual type scenes in that. I don't think so. Um, but you know that movie was was intended to to depict the reality um, of war and in the, the story of of this family in a very real way, uh, and and so an R-rated movie that's kind of in that category, uh, no, that's not necessarily uh, sinful. And even um, certain movies that do have uh, nudity in them, um, they would be rated R, but. Um, depending on the, the kind of nudity and the purpose of it, uh, it might not necessarily be uh, be sinful in itself. Um, right. So obviously, it, if there's f you know female nudity for a uh, heterosexual female to watch that, that wouldn't be like a it wouldn't be grave matter for her, or you know for male nudity for a heterosexual male to watch that, there would be like no possibility of that, right? Um, However, you can even make the argument that um, for someone to, if there's nudity in a, in a movie that is not really a, a sexualized type of nudity, um, then it, it could be okay, depending on kind of the, the individual person and their, their own personal state in regard to, um, you know, sins of, of the flesh and sins of lust, that... Um, you know, you're just kind of okay. And that's not a temptation for you. Um, I think people need to be very, very sober in their own estimation of their ability to deal with something like that, because even small temptations um, can then kind of open up the crack that then ends up leading to something more significant. And so I think there needs to be really, really uh, sober, honest, and um, yeah, really a sober and honest evaluation and really kind of erring on the side of caution in regard to that. Um, however, just because there is, just because, yeah, the point is that just because it's rated R, that doesn't mean that it would be grave matter or, you know, a mortal sin to, to watch it or even sinful at all. Um, it depends very much on specifically why it was rated R and then also the, the person's personal state and whether or not um, that would be a, a temptation to them. Great. Good question. Oh, also, do you feel that passion needs to be rated R to accurately portray Christ's sacrifice to us? Yeah, so I, um, I can't remember if it is rated R. I want to say it is. It might be PG-13, though. Um, so to a degree, yes. I think um, one of the things that's characteristic of, of our society today is that we really don't see suffering, right? We, we have hospitals for suffering, like ambulances don't have windows, right? Um, what's the first thing whenever there's a crime scene? Like you put tape around the whole thing and you get everybody away and don't let them see it. Uh, what do you do when someone is becoming old and falling apart? You send them to a nursing home. Um, you know, really, we've almost removed real suffering from uh, the daily life of the vast majority of um, 21st century people. 
um, at least, you know, in the West. And so um, we, in a sense, need to really understand what it means to suffer. And that needs to be depicted clearly. Um, and that if it needs to be depicted clearly, then also there needs to be, um, you know, certain uh, bars set of, hey, you know what, children don't need to be watching this. Uh, you know, you don't need to have a seven-year-old watching something like this because it's going to really traumatize the child. Um, however, you know, at a certain age, yeah, people need to be well aware of the sacrifice that Christ offered and what suffering really means and what he went through. And in a sense, the the cost of our sins. Um, and that's something that we just have a hard time understanding as uh, 21st century you know, Westerners. Um, but depicting it in a, in a movie is a way to, to help make that happen. <laughs> <laughs>